Hi, my name is Jean and this is my channel, Learn With Jean. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Descript to record voiceover slides. Now I've showed, most of us may know how to do this in PowerPoint. Most of us, I've, I've got a video on how you can do it in Canva. And well, there's many different ways and I just wanna show you another way in case you are looking to use Descript as your all-in-one editing tool. This is a great way to continue to maximize the most out of your Descript license and get to know all the other ways that you can record, you can write scripts, and you can make different kinds of presentations. So the goal of this video is to show you how you can do the same thing in PowerPoint, but in Descript. The reason why I wanted to show this in Descript is because it really makes a difference in how you write out your script. You get a chance to listen to your script. You get a chance to edit it like a Google Doc, and it gives you a lot more flexibility than putting a bullet point talking points scripts for your slide in PowerPoint notes and then going into PowerPoint and recording it. In Descript, it's really easy to record the audio or record the video and then later on add a slide over it. And so this is great if you are recording slide presentations, audio over slides, the way this is done. I'm gonna show you how you record it and upload your slide, and then you have an entire presentation for your course. Let's begin. First of all, think of recording your voiceover slides as a story with multiple scenes, like a beginning, middle, and end. That's the best way to understand and use Descript is that everything is set up in scenes. Maybe the first scene might be your first slide, the second scene might be your second slide, and so on. That's a good way to structure your recording so that you break up your recording into different slides and different scenes so that later when you export it, you can export the individual video files. What you're gonna do is, if you are in Descript, what you're gonna do is open your Descript account and then go to new video project because you're gonna be doing video voiceover slides so that it will be a video rather than just an audio like a podcast or audiograms. So what you can do is there's two ways. It's set up like a Google Doc style. So you can start writing because maybe you're not sure what you're going to say for the first slide. I'm gonna say, well, welcome to my video. So I can do it I can do it two ways. I can welcome to my video on and give it some text. And then once give it some more bullet points, text, etc. I'm not gonna write too much because I don't wanna spend too much time writing out the whole script. I just wanna give you an example. So that may be the first lesson, first slide of my course. It's like an introduction, it's like an overview. And then when I'm ready to go on to my next slide, what I'm gonna do is hit enter and then add a backslash and that will start a new scene. And so this will be the start of my second slide. And then this will be, now that we finished our intro, now dig deep into our course material. So that's just some bullet points that I'm going to write out for myself. I can add a speaker, so I can add myself. And later on when I'm done, I can just hear how it sounds like. And this is gonna generate the voice to speech text-to-speech, I'm sorry, and I can hear what it sounds like if I use the AI voice, but if I'm not going to use the AI voice, then let's just give an example for a third slide. Now I'm going, oh, I have to forget the backslash. Now I'm going to record the actual audio. So this is just for my reference. And then what I can do is in here, add a audio file that I've recorded the other thing is I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this because what it's gonna do is generate the text to speech. And then what I can do is just hit record. And then once I click record, it will allow me to uh, start talking into the microphone and I can then uh, generate some bullet points for this specific slide. Now, I know what you're saying. You're like, okay, great. Now I see the different ways that I can start exploring with my script in Descript and adding the uh, text for the relevant slide. 
but how am I going to put this all together because I don't see any slides. So don't worry, that's the next part of this tutorial is now for, let's just say this one, what I'm going to do is click on, click on this play button, media button. Uh, I call it play, media, whatever you call it. And then I am going to add a slide. I'm going to add my slides. So I'm going to click on add files and then look my presentation slide and I can add multiple slides if I want to. This is going to try one first so that you can see if it looks right. And let's just say that is the right slide and I'm going to click on add new layer. And there I go. That is the first slide in my first course. So now if I like the way I'm going to play it back and if I like it and I'm ready to put this into my course, what I'm going to do is select this scene and then click on publish and then I want to export it and then I'm going to export it as a video and then make sure the resolution audio sounds good and then click on export and then now to say descript tutorial and spell it and that would be my first scene first slide in my course and so that's just to give you an example I'm going to stop exporting just because I wanted to show you, but that's how you can easily use Descript to record voice over PowerPoint slides. All you have to do for each scene is always select the scene and then click on media, click on add files, uh, look for your slide. I didn't make any new slides, but I can then click on add new layer and now I've applied it to all of my slides. Now, if each slide is going to be different, you just want to make sure that you add the relevant slides to each specific scene. So that is, in short, one way that you can easily record voice over PowerPoint slides in Descript. And it's so much easier because it gives you a lot more flexibility to edit. It gives you uh, time to hear yourself, to um, explore whether you want to break up your scenes a little bit more or if it's long but too long based on the playback and so and it's pretty easy and then you can do more effects so you can add more like background colors so maybe you want to enhance the visual element of this more uh, you can add some animations i if i'm just keeping it simple for a course lesson then this is the way i would do it and then the cool thing is in my script, I can, let's just say I didn't really speak into the mic loud enough. I can adjust the audio. I can add some audio effects, but I wouldn't touch the audio effects unless you really know what the different elements of these audio effects do. But this is really easy. And then if you're collaborating with someone um, on this course, you can uh, click here and then you can highlight, you can tag them in a comment. You can even, after all this, use the AI features to summarize what the first module is. So if people are interested in buying your course, but they're like, I'm not sure, then you can use the AI to generate a summary. So you can ask them to add chapters or markers. You can ask them to summarize as well. So there's a lot of different like subtle AI features that really can help elevate the content and also make it easier for you to share what it's about. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Let me know if you have questions, comments, and feedback, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.